continuing her warm-up sequence or restoration sequence. She spends a lot of time running, committing to running, sprinting, changing direction. Unfortunately, she's recovering from a pretty substantial knee injury, but she's done a lot of rehab up to this point to recover. Now, undoubtedly, she's carrying a lot of tension into those particular muscle groups of the lateral calves and ankles. So how is she going to reduce the tension there? And she's always adding impact. This is a great exercise for that. She wouldn't necessarily need to do this every single warm-up sequence, but this is something she could do, you know, two or three times a week in between workouts to help reduce all the impact she's putting throughout her legs. How's that feel, by the way? Good. Yeah. Really good. Awesome. So this is a great tool to help reduce lateral tension of the calves and ankles, which can improve that ability to dorsiflex or turn the toe up towards your face. That in turn is going to help your run stride or activation of the posterior chain, including your hamstrings, booty, stuff like that. Okay. And this will also help introduce some more global mobility or ankle mobility in a rotational sense. Four set section that she is now working on. These three techniques, she's now going to the second one. Third one, she'd physically pin that roller and she would, or pin that ball and she would now manipulate 